Howdy y'all, it's a big day I've been warning you about for a while now. It is finally upon us, two brand new albums dropping right now. This very minute, in fact. Stay tuned, I'll tell you all about them. I'll tell you about a special bundle offer to the first 100 customers and a giveaway I'm gonna be doing. So you won't wanna miss this, good stuff, I'm excited. Okay, so first off, these albums are something I've wanted to do for a very long time. Um, my dad passed on six years ago this week which marks six years since we played a show uh, as Crazy Mule. That band kind of just ceased to exist right after that. Funny how that kind of thing works, huh? But um, it's also been this year 20 years since we made our first record and um, just had some wonderful, wonderful memories playing with my dad. Um, all the great guys we played with throughout that time, killer musicians, a uh, few different iterations of the band and um, you know, every one of them was as interesting and, and strong in their own ways as the next and uh, totally different too, which is um, kind of fun to hear on this compilation, uh, this kind of project. So the first one that I want to tell you about, this one is titled Crazy Mule Remembering Boyd. And it's just kind of commemorating all that that I just talked about. It's, it's 20 years of recordings. Um, a bunch of the funny stuff, all of our greatest hits, if you want to call them that, as well as a lot of good, serious, arranged music and original tunes and instrumentals and gospel numbers and uh, some brand new tracks that you've never heard before, we've never released. You know, plenty of eefing on there too, for those of you who are into that kind of thing. Uh, they're just something for everybody. It's 22 tracks and over an hour long, so it, it, it's a big one. It's all polished up and remastered, and I'm really proud of it. Really proud of how it turned out. It tripped down memory lane, and uh, even if you weren't a Crazy Mule fan or didn't really know of us back then, um, I think this still holds up really well today in a lot of ways. Um, like I said, Dad's personality just really comes through in this, and I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out, and I think you will be too. Okay, so this other album's a little different. It's a, a story album called Ozark Tales. And uh, any of you who knew my dad uh, know him to be quite a storyteller. And these, believe it or not, they're all true stories about things that happened to him as a kid growing up in the Ozarks, you know, playing tricks on the mailman with his friends, stuffing groundhogs in the mailbox and, and making a, a kite out of a buzzard that they had stuffed and just all kinds of crazy things that you wouldn't think could be possible, but they're absolutely true. So uh, we were fortunate enough, just a few weeks before he died, I set him down in front of a microphone in a bedroom and I just had him tell the stories. I, he told 10 of them. And uh, this is nearly an hour long. I think it's around 50 minutes or something. And uh, I went back after he had passed and pulled those out and um, added sound effects and everything to them, you know, atmosphere. So when he talks about walking down by the creek, you can hear the footsteps in the gravel and the creek babbling and the birds chirping and the sound effects of what's going on. So it really immerses you in the story. It's just it's just a lot of fun to listen to. It's kind of one of those things that it can, it can take you to a different place in time if you want to spend the time and, and just kind of decompress a little bit. It's great for that. So really happy with how this one turned out too. And uh, so far, everyone that I've listened to this gives me really good feedback, even if they weren't people who knew dad necessarily, which is what I was, I won't say concerned about because um, I didn't really care. <laughs> I wanted to make it for, for me and those who cared about him. But to hear from people who didn't even really know him how much they like it, I think that's what kind of sparked me to, you know, get it all mastered up and packaged up and, and offer it to people if they want to try it. Okay, so here's the deal. These were done with the idea of preserving something that was important, I felt like. And the best way to do that in the modern age is to get it up on all streaming platforms. And that requires additional mechanical licensing, which is expensive because some of the songs are copyrighted. You know, we were ripping off Elvis and Megan Trainer and Bob Seeger and Metallica and all kinds of people on that record, you know, doing our own funny interpretations and bluegrass twists of their songs. So um, if I can sell a hundred copies of this, it's going to, you know, all the, all the money from that's going to go right back into paying those licensing fees. So I can put this in all streaming platforms. So anyone who can hear it, anyone who wants to hear it, which is might be four or five of you, I'm guessing probably maybe even six. I mean, 
we're shooting for the moon here, but <laughs> anyone, anyone who wants to hear it can just get on there and, and listen to it at any time because that's how everyone listens to music now for the most part is uh, all those online platforms. So uh, to sweeten the pot, here's what we're gonna do. If you buy this album, Crazy Mule Remembering Boyd, you're going to get this album, The Ozark Tales, for free. And uh, you don't have to do anything special. I'm gonna put a link in the description or in the comments or whatever platform you're, you're looking for that on. And if you can't find it there, you can always message me or you can look on the Banjo Bin General store page. It's gonna be on there. Um, but there's just gonna be one link for one product page, which is the bundle. It's both of these together and it says that. As long as that's up and you're, you're buying off that page for the first 100 people, um, you're gonna get both of them for the price of one. Now, if that wasn't a good enough deal already, I'm also going to try to sweeten the pot a little by doing a giveaway. I've actually got a um, Ozark Mountain Dulcimer here that I used on my last album, uh, the Christmas album that I made. And uh, I thought it'd be just a, a nice little fun thing as kind of an appreciation for everyone who's supporting and buying this project. So, you know, I can make that preservation of it more of a reality. Um, I'm gonna throw your name in a hat and, and draw a name and I'll ship it to you. All expenses paid, you don't have to do nothing. All you have to do is, is buy the record. You buy, you buy it, you get the other one for free and your name's automatically entered in the drawing. Now, here's the other thing. If you order multiple copies, your name's entered multiple times. So, um, you, you know, you have a pretty decent chance, depending on, even if you just buy one, there's a decent chance, a lot better than the lottery, that you'll win something. And, uh, you know, if you don't have uh, the, the money, you don't want to buy the record or whatever, you can send me your information. I throw your name in the hat anyway. Um, I have to do that legally. So... Um, it's not that I'm being nice. It's just to, to actually give, you know, do the giveaway. I have to let anyone enter. Otherwise they'll yell at me because I've had that happen before because everyone is so nice on the internet. But anyway, really that's all there is to it, folks. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll give you a little sneak peek of the dulcimer here. It's, a uh, it's a real easy instrument to play. They remove all the frets where you can play wrong notes. You can just use one finger and strum it, all the strings and, and make really cool music. I'll give you a little demo. So that's it in a nutshell, folks. I hope you enjoy this as much as I have. Uh, this got me through some tough times when I was down on my back and couldn't do much else. Spent a lot of time working on these and uh, um, I hope it enriches your life in a way that it has mine. And whether you knew him or not, I think you could get a lot out of this. And so like always, folks, I appreciate you more than I can express. Your support has always been far more than I've ever deserved. Very generous and I'm very grateful. Thanks.